don't they do things that are very surprising? Yeah, but so you, you have an AI that does something surprising. I'm going to have an AI. And right. My AI looks at your AI and goes, that's not that surprising. The fear for the layperson like myself is that AI becomes sentient and makes its own decisions. And then ultimately decides to just govern the world. Do yeah. it its own way. They're like, you guys, you had a good run, but yeah. we're taking over now. Yeah, but my, my AI is going to take care of me. I mean, <laughs> So that's the this is the cybersecurity argument. Yes. Well, you you have is. an AI and it's super smart. But my AI is super smart too. And and maybe your AI let, let's pretend let's let's pretend for a second that we understand what consciousness is and we understand what sentience is and and that in and fact, we really are just pretending. Okay, let's just pretend for a second yeah. that we we believe that. I okay. don't believe actually I don't actually don't believe that, but nonetheless we let's pretend we believe that. So your 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 AI is conscious and my AI is conscious and and let's say your AI is you know wants to I don't know do something surprising. My AI is so smart that it won't, it might be surprising to me, but it probably won't be surprising to my AI. And so maybe my AI thinks it's surprising as well, but it's so smart. The moment it sees it the first time, it's not going to be surprised the second time, just like us. And so I feel like, I think the idea that, that only one person has AI and that one person's AI is, compares everybody else's AI as Neanderthal is, um, probably unlikely. I think it's much more like cybersecurity. Mm, yeah. Interesting.